Hello everybody, this is an old guy gaming here, and I am now ready to put a saddle on my Stegosaurus and ride it for the first time. So yes, I have reached level 30. Uh, this has actually been a day of farming. I spent the first probably two hours of real life gameplay just mining, uh, mining up rocks, looking for metal, and I was able to forge a bunch of steel and now all my tools are steel. I also have a uh, crossbow now which I was able to make out of the steel. So my picks are steel, axe steel, steel harpoon or uh, uh, pike rather. So yeah it's been a, been a pretty good day. Uh, then I went out on my trike and farmed up a bunch of narco berries and came back to camp and made a bunch of narco and I went up like almost two and a half levels uh, just doing that alone, it was amazing how fast I went up. And of course I've been waiting to hit 30 so that I could get the saddle for the Stego, and I finally have that. So now what I'm going to do is, I've emptied the trikes so they have lots of room, I'm going to go back out on the Stegosaurus again, and get a whole bunch more Narco, or Narco Berries rather, come back to camp, and make a bunch of Narco, and level up even, even more. And um, once I kind of go through that. Um, then the next plan is going to be to start looking for a new place to live and start heading inland. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that uh, for the rest of the, uh, this evening, but we'll see how things go. Um, so let's try this stego out. Uh, looks like she is also ready to level. So. I have never ridden one before. Let's actually wait and see what we think she needs best. All right, so there's the saddle. And woot, here we are on our Stego. Ah, uh, I wonder, wonder if I should give her some speed. Well, actually, stamina probably would be good because she goes relatively fast when she's galloping, but her stamina is already out almost. And one of the things I've noticed on some of the slower dinos is if you if you bump their speed up, it doesn't go up very high, so I don't even know if it's hardly worth it. So yeah, I'm thinking probably stamina for her. So let's do that. I'm just going to press the F key here. And how much stamina will she get? Okay, well it went up about 33 points. That's not too bad, I guess. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm not planning on using her for any kind of combat, so I'm not really too worried about her health. A thousand health is pretty good, so we'll probably keep it that way, uh, at least for now. So yeah, I'm probably just going to pump stamina more than anything. Um, maybe later on, uh, also pump some weight on her, too. Okay, so let's take this girl out into the bushes here and see what she can do. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. That tail swipe. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like she swipes the tail in the direction that you're looking. That's kind of cool. So if I look left, it goes left. Look right, it goes right. All right, I like that. I like that. Uh, look at all that stuff, guys. That is just awesome. Man, and I thought the trike was awesome. This is even better. She's got quite a, quite a long reach, too. Uh, speaking of trikes, they were supposed to be following me uh, because it looks like her inventory is going to fill up really fast, and I'm just going to use them just as as trucks, as U-hauls. So, um, yeah, let's go back. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just keep going. Yeah, that is just fantastic. Take this tree out here. Yeah, no problemo. All right, we're gonna turn around and start heading back until I can get close enough to run over and get my trikes. So I am in the process of exploring a new region called Deep Island. And this is a really cool place. It's like a, a, a big forest with a very tall trees. And 
I have seen on the map that there's supposed to be uh, like a small lake up this way. And so I'm on my way up there to just kind of scope it out and see if it uh, might be a good place to build our permanent base. Now, um, if you look across the way here, that uh, ridge over there, that cliff over there, that's uh, Footpaw Island. And just kind of on the other side of that ridge is where my base is and where most of my uh, gameplay has been so far. So I grabbed the gang, uh, most of the gang anyways, and we started moving this direction. And uh, had quite a bit of action in terms of, you know, dinosaurs attacking us and, and um, that kind of stuff. One of the things that is in this swamp biome, which is called the, the writhing bog, I believe it is, uh, there's these huge snakes. Um, they're called uh, something boa, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but what they'll do is, you know, they'll, they'll poison you, which is a little, little weird because, you know, boas are not poisonous in real life, but anyway. And, of course, there's sarcos and all, all kinds of other, you know, scary stuff in this area. So we were moving up, uh, coming this way, and it was starting to get dark, and this big uh, level 21 sarco started attacking us. And so I was able to actually knock him out and start training him. So just a little while here, I'm going to go ahead and have my uh, first sarco. So he doesn't have too much longer to go. I'll probably have to pump him uh, with some more narco berries. He's actually taken quite a while to train. Um, a, I, I would say, oh gosh, probably at least an hour and a half to two hours already, even up to this point. There's probably another ten minutes left maybe uh, to get him trained up. And then uh, once he's trained, uh, then we'll have our first Sarko. And he, he's a male Sarko, so I'll probably at some point also look for a female, just so I get that 33% boost with uh, mate boosting. So yeah, this was a, this is a really cool place. I just, I, I've always kind of liked the woods and forest type areas. And so looking forward to just kind of exploring this region, going through and, you know, see, seeing what it's like and, and checking out that place with that lake. Uh, there are carnotaurs and raptors and uh, there even could possibly be T-Rexes on this in, in this particular region I'm in so of course I'm gonna have to be really careful so at this point we're just kind of waiting for the Sarko's training to finish and then we're gonna push deeper on into the woods here and again we're just looking for a new place uh, to, to build our base and exploring the island and moving more into the interior So I just spotted my first T-Rex, and he just took out a Bronto. And so I got me and the Carnotaur, the newly trained Sarko, and my two Raptors. And we're going to head over here and investigate, and just kind of see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. I have no idea what level that T-Rex is, but he's causing all kinds of problems with the Brontos. Oh, there's a, an Anklo over there too. So yeah, let's um... Whoa! That Bronto tail just got us. Dang! Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tell everyone to attack my target. And then I'm going to hop off and shoot that T-Rex. Hopefully I won't die horribly. Whoa! And he's dead too, so I'm going to go get his meat. Also, I think I've found the place that I want to set up my permanent base. So let's get this Bronto meat first. So this is um, kind of on the western end of Deep Island. And up here is, of course, a mountain. But then back down this way, there's a, like a little plains area with a 
a lagoon, or like a little lake, so it's like perfect for, you know, for water supply and so forth. What level is this uh, ankle? I need to get one of these for stone armor. This is a 20, or she rather, it's a 26, okay. I'm not going to mess with her right now, but we might be coming after her later on. So yeah, let's see, where's Rufio? Oh, Sarge, are you stuck again? Here he comes. Right, I'm going to hop on Rufio and kind of show you this, this immediate area. It's pretty cool. It's basically almost ideal uh, for, for my permanent base. Just got to get Rufio out underneath the crowd. Yeah, so let's go over this way. So looking this way, this is basically looking north, and that's, um, I don't remember what that mountain's called, but it's its like a huge volcanic mountain. I think it's the tallest mountain on the map, and it's kind of in the middle, middle northerly, uh, northwest part of the map. And then that's a huge river down there. And then back over here is a plain, kind of a, a wide open plains area, so I could you know, build a, a nice fenced in area close to the lagoon, and we have this nice lagoon or lake here uh, for water. So yeah, this is like a really cool area. When I when I I knew this lake was here, I kind of saw it on the map, but I I thought it would be more in a forested area. I didn't know it was like open like this. So yeah, I think what I'm thinking is we're gonna grab the rest of the dinos. I kind of left them out in the woods just because they kept getting caught in trees. So I'll have to figure out how to get them out here. And I'm. Um, Pretty sure this is where we're going to go ahead and set up base. We have a, another T Rex, and we're going to go ahead and go after him and see what happens, provided the bugs don't eat us. I do not know what level this T Rex is. I haven't gotten that close yet, so this could be. This could go bad for us, but I think we'll probably do pretty good. Crazy's health is is like 2,200 at this point, so he's he's pretty good, pretty good shape. There he is. Okay, I'm gonna hop off. Tell these guys to attack my target and take my crossbow out. And let's get him. Oh, yeah, we smoked him. We smoked him. Good job, boys. Now what's going on? Raptors. Yeah, they'll make short work of it. All right. Oh, crap, where'd my T-Rex go? I didn't even get to see what level it was. Ah, oh, that sucks. I wonder if one of my boys just ate him. Alright. Well, whatever level he was, we wasted that guy. He didn't even stand a chance. So that's good to know. With, with my gang here, we can take out the most dangerous dino in the game. There's another T-Rex over there. Um, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, this looks like a, a good place to cross. Neutral, so if we do get attacked, this is kind of a neat area. The the beach is all black, black colored sand. I think I'm going to get my spyglass. Where's he at? Where's he at? He 
He's a level eight. Okay. All right. Um, how do I get this? I can't turn my spyglass off. That was weird. Okay, everybody, attack my target. Get the crossbow out. Don't get stuck in the rocks. This would be a bad time for that to happen, boys. Okay. Now let's get this guy. Is he stuck? No, I think he's just fighting raptors or... Yeah, raptors. Whoa! Come on, guys, get him! Oh, yeah, we smoked him. We smoked him. Level 8 uh, T-Rex. Wasted him. Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. So I got a pretty good pretty good team here. Let me switch to my pick and see if we can get some prime meat. Not that I'm going to be able to use it, but... There's a piece. Cool. So one thing I noticed uh, the other day when I was, you know, farming up some metal is it seems like these roundish rocks here uh, do a pretty good job of giving you metal. So not every single one will, but see, there's metal right there. Let's see what this one, that one didn't give me any metal. There's some metal right there. I've even had them give me like two or two metal. So that's something to keep in mind um, if you're going to be looking for metal. Uh, find water and look for these round stones. Something happening. See, there's metal right there, too. Yeah, this beach is really cool looking. I, I like this area here. I think... I am... Let's take the... Bring the map up. Okay, yeah, so I'm actually north, on the north side of Deep Island, uh, where I'm currently at, so. I actually thought I was further east than that, but I guess not. Lots of dinos around. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera here, and... As always, if something cool happens, uh, I'll turn it back on, but I need to get back over across the river, back to that mountain lake, because that's where I'm going to set up our new permanent home. So this is an old guy gaming, signing off for now.